So, you're thinking about moving to Brainerd, Minnesota. Well, this channel is all about living in the Brainerd Lakes area, moving to and relocating to the Lakes area. We cover all the surrounding communities that make up the Lakes area here in central Minnesota. So, make sure you subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications. That way you'll be the first to find out and learn all about the current market here in the Brainerd Lakes area. My name is Noah Gedker. I'm a real estate agent at EXP Realty, and I get calls, texts, emails from people just like you looking to make their move to the Lakes area. I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week or next year, feel free to give me a call, shoot a text, or send an email, and I'd love to help you make your move to the Lakes area smooth sailing. So, Brainerd, where is it? Small city located in Crow Wing County, Minnesota, situated right about in the center of the state, two hours north of Minneapolis. Surrounded by beautiful lakes, forests, is a popular tourist destination, but also a great place to live. Brainerd is a wonderful city with a lot to offer, from that small town feel to the natural beauty that surrounds it. There's plenty of reasons to, to move here. If you're looking for a place to call home that has a strong sense of community, affordable living, and plenty of activities, then Brainerd is the perfect choice. And I am excited to show you what makes this town such a great place to live. So let's get after it. All right, first let's explore downtown Brainerd. Downtown Brainerd has a rich history and is home to many unique shops, restaurants, businesses. One of the best things about living in Brainerd it's really truly the small town feel that you get downtown and the locals are friendly and there's a really strong sense of community here. And downtown is the heart of the city and it's full of charm and character and the streets are lined with historic buildings, unique shops and restaurants. And you can find anything from coffee shops to boutique clothing stores, antique shops, restaurants, um, uh, food co-op, lots of places to explore. Great time to spend the afternoon, stop into books uh, to the bookstore or um you know bakery chocolate you know candy shop uh just pretty much anything you can think of is right here downtown brainerd it's a great time to explore it's a little bit quiet today here on a monday uh we're still we still got snow on the ground here in minnesota uh, but it should be warm and we'll be ready for summer in no time so definitely want to come check out downtown brainerd along with some of the other unique downtowns so it's distinct from uh you can check out a previous video on on Nisswa, minnesota and the downtown there which is certainly different than brainerd but um still this is great and also uh crosby minnesota downtown crosby another great downtown in the brainerd lakes area so uh yeah come on down to downtown brainerd all right if you are looking for great food in brainerd here are the top five restaurants that must be on your list to check out. So number five would be Sage on Laurel downtown. Number four would be the 612 Station downtown. Number three is Dunmire's out by the airport. Number two is the local 218, which is in Northeast Brainerd. And last but not least, or number one, would be the barn right on Washington Street and Brainerd. Just a little small little restaurant. Uh, it's only open for breakfast and lunch, but uh, it is great to get that made right and some homemade pie and you will not be disappointed. Now, a major advantage of living in Brainerd is the quality of life. Here are some quick facts about Brainerd. There are about 14 parks, including a dog park, uh, 13,395 people, uh, most home values range between 175 to 275,000. The typical rent is about $800 to $1,100 a month, and the median married family income is about 62, 63 thousand dollars. Housing prices are lower than the national average at a median uh, sale price of about $250,000, which means you can get more house for your money. In terms of affordable housing, our favorite subject, right? So people are always talking about getting priced out of the market. Now, that may seem to be the case for a lot of people right now, but if you look in Brainerd, uh, on the homes sold in the last 90 or so days, about a quarter of them sold under 200,000. 
so you can find great deals in Brainerd. And if you're starting out and you have a lower budget, you're just, you know, need to get into a place, especially with the great schools and a great uh, location. Some, you can find some homes around 140 to $150,000. Now, some of them may need updates and a little bit of work, um, but depending on your tastes uh, and what you like, and there may need some, uh, may need a few tweaks here or there, but you can get into a, a great house for uh, $150,000, $160,000. Now, in terms of healthcare, Brainerd is home to Essentia Health, St. Joe's Medical Center. It's a full service hospital that provides a wide range of healthcare services to residents of the area and it's very centrally located, right in town. If you are moving to the area with school aged children, Brainerd Public Schools is highly, highly regarded uh, school district that serves students from preschool all the way through high school, of course. Uh, and the district has a strong focus on academic achievement with high graduation rates and a variety of extracurricular activities uh, for students. So uh, it's also a very active homeschool community and many private schools to choose from. There, there are a lot of private school options, lots, a lot of homeschoolers. So um, if you are a family who homeschools, you will definitely have support in this area um, to help you, help you there. Um, a lot of extracurricular activities available for homeschool, private school, um, people who are, have their children in uh, non-traditional education uh, opportunities or um, avenues. All right, so let's talk about just the natural beauty of Brainerd. So it's, Brainerd is surrounded by lakes and forests and just all natural beauty all around. So, and of course the heart, uh, Brainerd straddles, um, you know, the Mississippi River right behind me. And we are at a new park that's being built right along the river um, on the back side of the Brainerd High School. And here's, there's a track meet going on right now. Um, but some of the, some there's, there's almost 500 lakes or about 500 lakes within 25 miles radius of the city of Brainerd. So there's no shortage of, of opportunity to get out swimming or boating, water skiing in the winter time, uh, you know, ice fishing or snowmobiling. And then all the, then we have all the trails in Brainerd. There's um, not only the you know, trail here that uh, goes over to Kiwanis Park, uh, and it goes along the Mississippi River here, right in town. But we also have the Paul Bunyan Trail going through town that also is goes all the way up to Bemidji. It's about 120 miles of continuously paved trail, winding through past lakes and through forests and through small towns. And it's really, it's the, I believe it's the longest continuously paved trail in the United States. And we have that right here, um, along with the non-paved trails that we have all over the place too. So there's no shortage of opportunity for outdoor activities in Brainerd. Of course, in Brainerd, we have the, the more dense population right here for the area, the lakes area, but you are not only have opportunities for getting outside just right here in town, but you're within about five minutes, um, you can do pretty much anything you want to do outside. So. Um, Loss of opportunity, whatever you want to do, bike, you know, uh, bike rides, running, hiking, swimming, boating, fishing, uh, it's all, all here in Brainerd. Well, overall, I hope this video has given you some great insight into what it's like to live in Brainerd, Minnesota. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comments section below and let me know what kind of information about the Brainerd area uh, would you like me to cover for future videos. And again, whether you're moving next week or next year, feel free to give me a call, shoot a text, send an email. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I hope to show you around town.